It's fall! That means that the autumn resources are back in full swing. But how in the world do you even collect them? Where do you find them? And what's the quickest way to acquire them? The fall items are freaking beautiful. They match the dying greenery so well. In my opinion, not enough fall furniture items. I want more. Far more. The resources for the autumn furniture are too pretty to not have thousands of items to craft. Maybe just my opinion, but the colors, oh, they're so pretty. There are a few different collectibles available for us to craft into autumn furniture. Now that decorating outside is a mechanic in the series, it's obviously important for some of us to do as much as we can to match the changing of leaves on our islands. We can't do that with normal old summer furniture. We have a bunch of resources at our disposal to create beautiful fall furniture. First up, acorns and pine cones. These tree nuts or fruit, acorns, acorns are our fruit, uh, become available in September and last until the first 10 days of December for the Northern Hemisphere. Southern Hemisphere goes from March until June. If you haven't learned the tree's bounty little tree recipe, Isabel will teach you during a morning announcement. She'll also remind you when the acorns and pine cones are available for you to shake from trees. Pine cones come from cedar trees while the acorns fall from the hardwood trees. Once you shake the fruit off of a fruit tree, these become a hardwood tree and you can get acorns from them as well. When shaking the tree of your choice, there's a small chance that you'll actually receive a fall resource. There's a 70% chance that nothing will drop. You'll just shake the tree and watch the unlimited number of leaves fall from it and nothing appears on the ground. Don't worry, you can shake your tree an infinite number of times and they'll never go bald. This isn't New Leaf, though I totally wish perfect fruit trees would return, Nintendo please. There's a 27% chance of a tree branch dropping, even though it feels like that it's way more often than that because holy crap, I find myself with a ton of tree branches all the time. And finally, there's a 3% chance of a pine cone or an acorn dropping. 3%. That's it. You gotta rely on good ol' RNG. This is the one thing that RNG is usually nice to me about, most of the time. Acorns and pine cones are used in a few recipes. These leaf piles are my favorite. They're awesome to add a nice fall touch to your pathways without needing a ton of different custom designs. If you're looking for seasonal recipes, get your slingshot out. They only appear in balloons and cannot be collected from bottles or from villagers. Pumpkins are another fall resource that are required to craft the spooky furniture. Pumpkin starts can be bought from Leaf during the month of October for a reduced price. Otherwise, head on over to Nook's Cranny. Some of these furniture items can also be bought from the seasonal slot in the upgraded Nook's Cranny. Out of the 20 available spooky items, only 12 can be purchased. The other 8 are received through the Halloween event or in the case of the spooky fence, can only be crafted. The spooky items are the one exception to the seasonal recipes only appear in balloons rule. These can be picked up from villagers crafting in their houses and apparently from bottles as well, though I don't think I've ever been lucky enough to have that happen to me. The best place to grab them quickly is from villagers crafting. Mushrooms are another seasonal resource that appear during the month of November. Up to five mushrooms can spawn every day you log on, but your island can only hold a maximum of 30 mushrooms. So be sure to run around your island to clean them up periodically. I'm not sure if the 30 mushroom cap counts towards the mushrooms that you have picked up and then placed back on your island, but if you're not seeing additional mushroom spawn, keep this in mind because it could be the issue. Based on the current star rating of your island, the five different types of mushrooms will have different spawn rates. Thanks to Asteriation, we have a nice little table that shows us the exact chances of each mushroom appearing. The actual rare mushrooms will go from a low 1% chance to a whopping 10% chance of appearing on your island. The recipes that require these mushrooms to craft are, again, beautiful. Make sure you're collecting all the different types of mushrooms you find because you do need the different types to craft everything. The rare mushrooms are probably the least important, they're only used to craft the forest floor. Not finding them isn't the end of the world, but if you do find them, they sell for a nice 16,000 bells. I want more mushroom furniture too. They could do so much more with it but I very much enjoy the stuff we already have. The mushroom lamp is 100% my favorite. They look beautiful at night. Definitely poisonous, probably don't lick them. Finally, we've got the maple leaves. These fall from the sky from November 16th to the 25th. Such a short window. Just like the cherry blossoms, the leaves will float around waiting for you to catch them. The sky will also be full of non-catchable leaves. If you're having a hard time telling the difference, look for the shadow. The ones with shadows can be caught. Be sure to stock up on these so you can craft with them outside of the 10 days that they're available. Do I have to talk about how beautiful the furniture is? The colors. I can't handle the colors. We have an Animal Crossing Direct coming up on the 15th. We already know a few of the new fall items being added, but maybe there's a chance that more will be announced. Probably not, but I'd be very excited to see more. Those of you watching this video in the future are probably just laughing your heads off with the knowledge of disappointment. I'm always down for more furniture. 
I keep seeing Pocket Camp get updated with new stuff and it just makes me want more for New Horizons. I know that the items in Pocket Camp are generating revenue for the company. Most likely the whole reason why the app gets updates so consistently. We'll all always want more. That'll never change. Maybe we just have to appreciate what we have now and make the most of it. What's your favorite fall item? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye.